The straightest line isn't always the shortest way from A to B. This old saying will prove true in the adventure that follows. Everything seems quiet in Opera City. That's where Pierre, the expert maze detective, lives. But beware of appearances, beware of still waters and crackling fire, because at this precise moment, his friend Carmen rocks up in trouble. Pierre, Pierre, somebody stole the stone, Pierre, she says. The maze stone. Mr. X is the one behind it. I just came from the museum. He replaced the stone with a letter for you. Dear worthless detective, I now have the stone, the one that turns everything into mazes. I challenge you to get it back. Are you up to it? Signed, Mr. X. P.S. Ah, 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 ah. With not a minute to lose, they race to the museum. It's total chaos inside.
Pierre and Carmen confront Mr. X. The stone is within reach, but the rat has a trick up his sleeve. On his signal, a horde of monkeys hurtles down the stairs. They're super cute, but angry and out of control. Ugh, oh, what a rascal. What a rotten scumbag. Using the chaos as a distraction, he escapes at the last minute and is lost in the city suburb.
As a tiger, Mr. X bounds onto the rooftops. And then, oh, the cad, he planned it all. Mwahaha! Sometimes my intelligence surprises even me! And he escapes into the skies. Pierre, look, up there! Ha ha ha! Hi, you lot down there! Hi, ants! Hi, slugs! All is not lost, says Carmen. I have a friend who builds flying machines. Her name's Coco. She's an adventurer. She travels all over the world. But her HQ is here, somewhere in the city center. We must find it. <laughs> <laughs> 